And normally I would not do CMLL so quickly again. We did CMLL, I think, two weeks ago. But when I heard about this main event, I was like, we have got to watch this show. Not to mention the so semi your fault. It is my fault. I mean, come on. Dos Caras Sr., Rio de Jalisco Jr., Viano 4, Kanek, Cien Caras, and Mascara Año Dos Mil. Yeah. Like, I asked Steve Sims, I said, didn't a couple of these guys suffer heart attacks recently? And he said, I think they've all suffered heart attacks. It's a very, very, very old match. Combined age of, like, a thousand. But, man, I just had to see it. So, CMLL tonight. We'll get back to something different next week. But it is Thursday night potpourri, so that's what I chose. And I don't regret it, thanks to the semi-main event. Okay. Here we Here go, we everybody. Go. Dos Caras Sr., Rio de Jalisco Jr., who, by the way, was horrible 15 years ago when we watched him. Viano Correct. 4, who I once wrestled in a UWA Tag Team Championship match, which I did not win. Kanek. Fucking Kanek. Cien Caras and Mascara Año Dos Mil. These guys okay. are so old. And when me... Kanek and Cien Karis and Mascara Anya Dos Mil tried to get down those stairs, I was like, how are they even getting in the ring? They can't get down the stairs for their entrance. As God is my witness, no exaggeration, no joke, this is true, I thought Kanek was dead. <laughs> he should, walked out. I should not laugh. <laughs> it was like, he walked out from the great beyond. He comes out with a, like, it looks like about a 10 year old boy in a mask. And they go to these stairs. I can only assume this 10 year old was there to help connect walk down the stairs. Because he looked like he needed a lot of help. And then he was followed by Cian Caras and Master Anidos Mill. And they were there to help each other down the stairs, but there was nobody to help both of them. I'm stunned they made it all the way down. I'm sure this is the most difficult thing they've ever done in their lives. I don't know what it is what about Kinec, get? but, like, he's not that old. I mean, he's really he's old. 65. He's 65. I mean, he debuted before both of us were born. I mean, he's old. Yes. But, like, yes. I, envision, I envision him being, like, one of the stars of the 50s. I don't even know why. I don't know what it is, but, he, I mean, he's not that old, but, my God. God, him! thank God he was dressed head to toe. Well, let's talk about this Viano. You know what's funny Viano about him? Says, you know what? He's not even that old. But boy, <laughs> did he just look ancient. And he had a mask on. He had a mask on in a full body suit. But the full body suit, first of all, it was like a, a, an Easter egg. All like purple and pink swirls. But then, like, every time he moved, something different would jiggle. Yeah, he kind of had a tank top singlet on, so there was, like, a lot hanging out of those holes besides his arms. But even, even, even just, like, his belly was flopping around all over the place. Yeah, it was, it was rough. So, as you noted, we used to watch CMLO every week about somewhere between 10 to 15 years ago. And Ryo de Jalisco and Master Anudos Mill were in the main event like every week, and they every, were awful then. Every week. <laughs> and never any good. Not like 1% good. It's been a rough decade and a half since. They've gotten so much worse. The wrestling they did to start this match, no exaggeration, this was some of the worst wrestling I've ever seen <laughs> at any level in any promotion, promotion in the whole world. This is so bad. Huh. So... I mean, you're not wrong. But... Ryo... <laughs> you know what I do have to say about it, though? Kanek and Dos Caras Sr. grappled each other in this match. And let me tell you something. When they came out, I had a vision in my head of how slow it was going to be when those guys got in the ring together, they exceeded my expectations. 
in a negative way. I could not believe how glacially slow these men were on the mat. I didn't think it was possible to go that slow. Like, it was like someone put it in slow motion as they were trying to do already glacially slow technical wrestling. Connect versus Doskar Sr. was mind-blowing to me. I've never seen wrestling that slow before. I don't even think in like PWG where they do the spot where like time stands still, I don't think that's as slow as this was. So they go to the finish of the first fall, and the idea is that the Technicos will all get simultaneous pins on the, the Rudos. So there'll be three pins going on at once. Everyone's timing is way off. Everyone was in each other's way. The ref, by the way, is the oldest guy of all, Tarantis. He's at least 200 years old, I'm sure. And he's trying to drop down and count and then get up and go somewhere else and count over here and then go around guys and count over there. He starts counting guys down after they're, like, sitting up. And eventually the thing is just called off and ends a complete disaster in every fucking way. And it's only the first fall. I do have to say, though, when the fans booed the finish of that first fall, it's kind of like, I know, like, it was really bad. And nothing that you said is incorrect. But, I mean, come on. You knew what the main event was going in. What did you expect? Yeah. Like you thought no, it might be better? You thought you might get Volador Jr. here? Of course not. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The man's name is Mascara Anya Anyo Dos Mil. <laughs> Mask of the year 2000. <laughs> Mask of the year 2000, <laughs> which at the time he debuted was the distant future. Yeah. Now it's it the now... distant past. Año dos mil y diez y siete, I believe. It's a long fucking time. Oh, God. He doesn't even have the mask anymore. No, it's it's no longer 2000, and he has no mask. This man is a walking, living relic. So they start the second fall. It is no better than that first fall. It was shorter. It was worse. (laughs) It was actually much, much worse. Just the worst brawling and the worst rope running and the worst bumping you ever saw. And the Rudos pinned Karis and Ryo with some triple teams. And for good measure, they topped out Viano with a triple submission. Oh, dude, no stop right there. Any of this- stop right there. This was not just any fucking triple submission. They put Viano, who can barely move, mind you, and is not flexible. They put him in a double stump puller. I have no idea how he ever walked again. They bent him forward like to make the guy touch his toes. They lifted him off the ground and they yanked on both of his legs until he gave up. I was like, I'm pretty sure that that would have killed me. And I'm a, I was a gymnast, okay? How in the fuck did they not kill this guy? But then I thought, if I ever come out of retirement as a tag team with my Good, close, personal friend, Filthy Tom Lawler. We have got to steal the double stump puller. (laughs) What a fucking move that was. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, they're setting him up for a fucking stump puller. And like, here's the thing. You know what a stump puller is, everybody? Sit down and put your legs out in front of you. Like you're going to try and touch your toes. Your, Your opponent stands over you. And they kind of sit on your shoulders and your neck, and then they pull, like, one of your legs up. That's a stump puller, right? And you're trying to tear your hamstring. And you're sitting on the ground when they do this, okay? They fucking did this move to Viano, and they lifted him into the air and yanked on his knee. This was astonishing. I thought they were going to kill him. So, then there was a third fall. Listen, I have been far too kind to this match thus far. In all honesty, in all seriousness, I swear to God, I was doing better matches than this at age 10 on the playground at recess. So they did like a triple headlock and then a triple rowboat. Yeah. They started doing They did the row the boat. They start doing cradles and they start kicking out and now I'm getting angry. The charm is gone. The novelty has worn off. Now it's just the shittiest fucking match I've seen all year. I was being so pissed these guys were kicking out. 
And then apparently, I am not the only one. Because next thing I know, a bunch of young guys in masks ran out and started beating the crap out of Ryo for the DQ. I don't know who they were. I don't know what their issues with Ryo. I don't know where they came from. I don't know the Rudos or Technicos. I don't care. They ended the match. They're my heroes. <laughs> it was Sanson, Quatrero, and Forestero who are the new Dinamitas. Aha. Yes. Let's make sense then. They are, they are continuing the feud of the old, old, old men. Now, you know what? Before they ran in, the spot where they ran in, Arayo had the win over Cian Caras when they hit the ring. And in order to set up the finish, Arayo whipped... He whipped Caras across the ring to bounce off the ropes. It was so sad watching Cian Caras run. He can't run at all, and they made him run. He limped across the ring like he had a fake hip. They hit him with the move. He fell down. Ryo goes for the cover, and the guys run in for the disqualification. It was a disaster. And you know what happened afterwards, Vinny? Did you listen to the challenges? Oh, I did. Ryo, Ryo. de Jalisco challenged Cian Caras to a singles match. Yeah. For real. In front of a crowd with people watching and cameras. Now, a lot of times in Mexico... Guys will make challenges and nothing comes of it. They actually were advertising that match. It was on the poster. And then they took it off. So it doesn't look like it's going to be happening. But for at least a little while, they actually were going to promote Rio de Jalisco versus Cien Caras in a singles match. In 2017. Yeah. You know, people made fun of Survivor Series. Because we're talking about the combined ages of all the guys in the main event. I'm pretty sure that Ryo de Jalisco and Sin Caras, those two combining their ages, are older than everybody in that Survivor Series match. And that's ten guys. So, this was the worst match I've seen in all of 2017. Without a shadow of a doubt. I originally wrote it was one of the worst matches I've seen in years. But then I remembered Rebel and Shane Martinez was just last year. And that was worse than this. This is not the worst match I've ever seen. But it was the worst match I've seen all year. And then it hit me. Then I got really mad. We got three falls of that and only two falls of that Ultimate Guerrero match. Well, you know. I was really pissed. This was the draw, buddy. This was what brought the people in. You had to give them all three falls. And I got to say one thing that I learned. Oh, go ahead. All right. I'll just real quick. I, I went minus four and a half stars. Oh. So, listen, it, it was so bad, you all need to go out of your way to see it to appreciate just how awful pro wrestling at its very, very, very worst can be. See, I told you. I told you we had to watch when? this one. I told you, you we had to watch it. You had to watch it. That's and really, this is, not, this is not the worst of pro wrestling because you didn't give it minus five. There's still room for <laughs> whatever Rebel, the opposite Rebel of Shelley, is. like I say, is <laughs> declining, yes. Rebel and Shelley was worse than this, but God, this was awful. I did learn many, many years ago when you and I and Sonny and Nate used to go down to Oregon every single weekend and wrestle for Tito Carrion on his little lucha shows that he ran in Hillsboro. I learned that I knew from watching Lucha Libre that, like, really, really, really great Lucha Libre is just phenomenal. It's unbelievably great. We saw it here in the semi-main. But I also learned that bad Lucha Libre is worse than any other pro wrestling on the planet. And it's not even close. And that's what we got here in this main event of the show. But you know what? God this bless these fact- guys. God bless them for going hey, out there. They are legends, and they are legends for a reason. Not disputing that. 